The sign should clearly show there's no right turn here, but it's been twisted so it is not clear where the turn is. But residents and people who cross the road here are totally in favour of any restrictions that will stop drivers taking the shortcut. It's about time. There's plenty of people that do that. So we struggle to cross the road because we don't, don't expect cars to come round. And then we get called all names because we're crossing a road that they're not supposed to be turning in. Very good idea. Why? So there's no crashes. People should just do as they're told, shouldn't they? I 110 percent agree that is the only way forward. This is where we are with this. There's been a car waiting to turn right with a police car sitting next to it and it's just sat there. The car has finally turned right and I whistled and the policeman looked at me and I went and he just couldn't care less. Could not care less. But the times I've walked out of my front door and my neighbours and I've just looked in front, no one's going to turn left, gone to cross the road and cars, they don't just turn left, they cut across three or four times, nearly been mowed down. Medway Council says their plans will make Medway's roads safer and reduce congestion. In 2020, the government announced that local authorities would be able to enforce moving traffic offences, such as making banned turns and driving in areas where vehicles are prohibited. To use these new powers, councils have to apply for permission from the government. Medway Council has launched a consultation on how it plans to use the powers and is encouraging residents to have their say. Initially, the council is looking into enforcement at Gillingham High Street to enforce the no motor vehicles restrictions. A2 Watling Street, Gillingham, enforce the yellow box restrictions at the junctions with Ash Tree Lane and Canterbury Street to help ease congestion and at A2 High Street, Raynham, to enforce the right turn ban into Orchard Street to help reduce congestion. To enforce the restrictions, automatic number plate recognition cameras like this would be installed and penalty charge notices would be issued to motorists who break the rules. People usually have 28 days to pay penalty charge notices and in some cases the fine is reduced if you pay within 14 days. Fines can be around £90. After the public consultation, the feedback will be reviewed and then a decision will be taken on whether to apply to the government for the powers to enforce the highway restrictions. If approved, it will start in 2023. Sandy Fleming for Raynham News.